A local school district locked down for a time today after two unusual incidents. Those incidents involving a, a student and a former student. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Erica Stanish talked with police and is learning more about what happened in the Hempfield School District. Erica. Yeah, today was the last day of school for students, and while police say these incidents were not related, they were both likely pranks that ended with two juveniles being charged. Now, the first incident happened this morning when students were on a bus heading into school. Police say a 16-year-old student was wearing a gas mask and then posted a picture on social media threatening to gas the school. As soon as school officials saw the student with the mask, they called police and he was arrested. They later determined the threat was not credible. And a separate incident, which happened just minutes later. A former student was involved wearing a hot dog outfit with his face painted as a clown with purple hair. Police say the 14 year old juvenile was not on school property, but was next to the high school and middle school. But because of his unusual behavior and the fact that he was carrying some sort of backpack, school police jumped into action and detained him. State police say whether or not the juveniles thought this could be a last day of school prank, they will never take a situation like this or any type of threat lightly. My warning would be for anyone, you know, this isn't a, nothing to joke about. It's all these things are taken serious. And if you can't understand what's happening in our society today, uh, then then I don't know what else to tell you. Like the, not, nothing is going to be taken as a joke when it comes to keeping everybody safe. Now, police are not identifying either juvenile because they're not being charged as adults, but the student with the gas mask is facing terroristic threat charges, and the former student in that costume is facing trespassing charges. Reporting live in Westmoreland County, Erica Sanish, KDK News.